Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Undecided how chatty it's gonna be, but I'm kind of feeling chatty, so we'll see. Um, I wanted to just, I don't know, do a get ready with me. I'm actually going away soon, which I'm gonna talk about, and I just wanted to just do it. I also wanted to use this palette that my friend Catriona sent me, the Beauty Bay New Romantic, even though you cannot get it anymore, I want to just, I don't know, do a video using it. And maybe I will pull in some singles, undetermined, but we'll just see. For my base, to start off, I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. This I actually low-key am almost out of. I need to buy a new primer before I go. Anyway, I actually really like this. I would buy it again. Um, I think I do like it more than the actual original putty primer, just because, I don't know. I like that it's a little bit thinner, but also feels hydrating. Like, there's nothing wrong with the original putty primer. I just think I like the dispensing mechanism of this as well. But I honestly haven't used the original putty primer in a while. It's just kind of a nice, like, hydrating, slightly slippy base to put base makeup on top of. And then I'm going to use, this is the Primark Get the Glow Radiance Boosting Liquid Highlighter that Catriona also sent me, and I'm going to put this on my face. This is genuinely more of just like an actual liquid highlighter, so I don't know that I would use this uh, without foundation, but underneath foundation, it's not too bad. For foundation, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is the shade Fair. This is definitely too dark for me and way too yellow, but I'll make it work. This has honestly been the surprise of the year for me um, in terms of how much I like this foundation. It is a little bit glowy and a thicker than I typically would go for, but it lasts way longer than I actually would think. Is it my most long wearing foundation? No not by any means, and it definitely gets a little bit glowier than my other foundations, but I really like the finish of it. I like the coverage of it. I do not hate it at all. Would I repurchase it if I use it up? Maybe not right away, but I do. I'm pleasantly surprised, and I can see how if you have dry skin, you would really love this because, to be fair, I really set my makeup well, but... It, it's dewy-ish and lasts longer than I would expect, and it has, like, good coverage, so there's that. And I think the shade range is a lot better than the, like, It Cosmetics or whatever one that this is obviously trying to do that everyone loves so much, which is very important. But you can also see it's super yellow. <laughs> But based on the amount of base makeup I wear, like face makeup as well, like cheeks and stuff, I, I typically can make an off-color foundation work, I'm not going to lie. For my brows, I'm going to use the Pink Honey UK Honey Glue. This is in the Scent Bubblegum, although I guess to you that doesn't really matter. Catriona sent this to me as well, and I honestly really like it. Do I like it more than soap brows? I don't know because it feels like soap brow but kind of slightly slightly different in a way that I feel like it's slightly thicker than or at least the bar soap I use it's slightly thicker that the bar soap feels like a little bit less thick but I do really enjoy this and it's so much more convenient than bringing a bar of soap around if you have to go somewhere or whatever the only other thing that I would say is that I feel like I would run through this product so much faster than a bar of soap. But for convenience sake, I could see myself, I was going to say buying it again, actually buying it because Catriona sent this to me. But for all intents and purposes, it basically acts the exact same way as soap. I'm going to put some of this Makeup Revolution lip oil on that I'm trying to use up. 
<clears throat> now I'm going to prime my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I recently ran out of my Fenty one, so I'm back to using this one. And actually, I like this still, and for longevity, nothing really compares. But I do, after I got used to the tackiness of the Fenty primer, I do have to say I kind of like a primer that's slightly tacky. Don't get me wrong, I still really like this one, but now that I've kind of been on that train, I do slightly miss it. I just wish that it had better wear time for the Fenty. And then I'm going to put a little bit of concealer just in the inner parts of my eye before I start my eyeshadow. By the way, the brush I used for foundation is the Peaches and Cream PC19, and then this little brush that I'm using to blend out my concealer is the Peaches and Cream PC23. I'm gonna get better about brushes, you guys, I promise. Okay, so let's do a little eye look. I was really going back and forth on what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm going to just figure it out along the way, but I think I know now. So I'm going to start with the shade Ink, which is this matte black. I think I am actually going to pull a different palette in, but for now, just because I want a darker shade that's not a brown. But first I'm going to push this black in my outer corners and then bring it up through my crease a little bit as well. Not bringing it up too, too high though. This was just a random pencil brush, by the way. My filming is. And now I'm actually going to dip into the Colored Rain and Power palette, which I haven't used in so long. But I was like, if we're already doing all discontinued things, might as well. I'm going to use this shade Snitch. Why did I show it like that? Snitch. It's one of my favorite deep, like, purpley cranberry colors. It's so good. And then I'm going to use... Oops, this Moda Detail Brush, which actually they sent me these brushes and then um, a discount code, but I haven't filled out the form or whatever that I need to fill out, so I should do that. But they did send me these, and I've been really enjoying them so far. Anyway, I'm basically going to place this over top of the black and then run this slightly along the edges and pull it through my crease as well. Shit, I meant to start a reel for this. I always am filming and like doing stuff and then I'm like I should just make reels as I go or like TikToks or whatever as I'm filming my looks. Like film little short snippets so I can have like a reel of them and I always forget. And then I'm like starting my look and I'm like it's too late. And I'm not going to wash it off. What I'm not going to do is wash it off. Just in a rounded shape like this. Okay, and now I'm going to take the shade Claret from the Beauty Bay palette. And use this to blend the edges of my shadow out even more. I'm honestly so stoked to have this, even though I still don't have the whatever, the whatever palette of Beauty Bay is. It's fine. It's fine. But these are like my tones, and I've lasted after this palette for so long. So I'm excited to just do like a really nice red look. I'm very excited. How have you guys been? I've been, honestly, wow. As we all have been able to tell, I have really been going fucking through it. If you can hear a weird sound, also I have a candle, a woodwick candle in the background, which may or may not be a good idea, but it goes on and off. Anyway, um, I have been, if you've been following me for a while, I have been on a roller coaster the past year, 2023. 2023 was the worst year of my entire life. I went through it in every single way. 
Um, and I really struggled. Basically, I, my eight year relationship ended and it was a surprise to me and it nearly broke me into a million trillion billion pieces and it was a hard fucking hole to climb out of. Um, I'm not gonna lie. And I could say all the things of like, I know that I'm enough and all this stuff and like, honestly, I don't know. It's just like, going through a breakup sucks. It's honestly probably one of the worst experiences you can go through aside from the death of a loved one. And I really like, it was so un honestly unimaginably difficult and so much diff more difficult than I ever thought it would be. <laughs> and so I was dealing with that for a lot of 2023. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade birthday. Um, and I can say a lot of things, but Mostly, I'm just happy now that I'm on the other side of it, and, like, the reason that I honestly didn't post for a lot of the year was because, first of all, I was struggling, and then when I was trying to get myself out of, like, a really tough place, I was really trying to just keep myself busy and do stuff and see the people that I love in my life and that required me being out of the house a lot and also didn't leave me a lot of time to film and edit so I wasn't uploading content as much um, and I honestly have missed it so much like the amount of joy that editing and filming and doing makeup again constantly has brought into my life is just like it honestly like really brought me back to myself in a way that I have trouble articulating like once I got back into it it really gave me such an outlet and it just eases my mind and like gets me out of stuff and all I want to do is have endless amounts of time to just create and be creative and play with products and like, it really, towards the end of 2023, like, has just saved me. Truly, like, being able to engage with everyone online again, being able to, like, feel like I'm part of the makeup space again, and am, like, continuing to have, like, connections and engagement, and it's just been, like, it's so rewarding for me, and I feel so passionately about it that... I just, I, I don't want to go back to a place where I'm not, like, active again, and I did it because, honestly, it wasn't even an active choice, like, I just needed to do what I needed to do to get through kind of thing, but now that I'm back, I'm so happy to be back. I honestly, truly missed you guys so much, and I really feel like I'm in, like, such a good creative space, which is funny because... I don't know, it just came out of such, like, a hard and difficult time, and on top of that, um, my gram, my grandpa died, like, not long after my relationship ended, and I was, I am, and have been really, really close with my grandparents, and it was a really, really, really tough time for my family, and it was, like, the hardest thing I had to go through, well, and it was so hard to go through something that, you know, obviously you expect, like, the death of grandparents um, at some point in your life. It's going to happen. But it was also, like, probably, like, it was also a big life event. The first big life event that I had to go through without my partner, my previous girlfriend. And... We'd been together for so long that it was just, like, I honestly was, like, losing my mind a little bit. And that just, I think, made me also feel 
like extra just absolutely like out of control like I didn't know what to do also I think I'm gonna try Moda sent me this like glam topper they call it it's like a silicone applicator for shadow and I'm very intrigued to use it so I think I'm gonna put some NYX glitter primer I don't even know if I should put it directly on this thing I guess I don't know why why not and just put this all over my lid and then from this palette I'm gonna take the shade Valentine first in the outer part of my eye and then the shade um, raspberry in the front part this is so odd I feel like this is probably meant more for like not just straight up metallic shadows now that I'm doing this and thinking about it it's for like more textured shadows but I've been meaning to try it I don't know that it works any differently than a brush would I'm not gonna lie to you I also feel like I have less control and then I'm gonna take raspberry and put this in the front part okay I'm switching to a brush I don't like it the one thing I will say about this applicator is that this birthday no yes no raspberry raspberry shade is a lot brighter on this side which is interesting so maybe there's something to it after all but now I'm going to take Valentine and raspberry on my fingers and intensify these on my lid these aren't super sparkly they're just nice metallics which is fine I'll probably go over them with some topper shades anyway and then an unexciting step is I'm going to take the shade Vanilla and use that to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out now a little bit and do, start on my base. I'm also just going to clean up under my eyes a little bit where I have some fallout. Okay, for concealer, this is new to me actually, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, I recently bought it because I ran out of my other concealer, and I really like it. It actually reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Hyaluronic Concealer, Pretty Fresh Concealer, whatever, that I was using like right before this, and I actually really like it. It's pigmented, but it also blends out and has good coverage. Um, but doesn't look overly heavy and the thing is about the original elf camo concealer is that I really liked it I liked the finish of it I liked like the wear of it but I felt like it dried down too fast so I, no matter how little time I let it sit for it always like it never blended out it always stuck down so intensely I feel like this gives the effect that the original camo concealer does but it's just like a little bit easier to work with and I don't find that it like creases or anything on me either and I'm using the shade um fair rose but yeah that's basically been my year is honestly just trying to get through and then towards the end of 2023 I actually met someone um, who I love a lot now and I'm I don't know it's new still and we actually aren't like physically together right now so I don't know how it's gonna go to be honest I'm feeling really hopeful about it and optimistic about it um, but also a lot of my work internally this year has just been focusing on like being the best version of myself that I can be and being okay with like just being me and myself and honestly in so many ways I feel like more like myself than I I ever have um but it's been like a long journey to get to this point but I'm feeling good 
Now I'm going to take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and conceal my pimples more, honestly. Um, but yeah, and so I'm actually going to Panama in a week. <laughs> um, at the end of January, and I'm going to stay for a month, and I'm so excited about it. I also quit my job. <laughs> Um, so I've been going through, you know, a lot of life changes this year. Um, I don't want to get too much into my work stuff, but basically I just wasn't really happy anymore and I want to do something different. Okay, my camera cut off, lovely, um, but now I'm just going to cream contour with the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. This is the shade Fair One, I've used it a lot. I was just saying that I want to film a favorites video of 2023, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. Um, I hope that what I said <laughs> before about me seeing someone new was in here, but I think it was. Um, anyway, I'm going to Panama and I quit my job also. Um, I don't want to get too much into the job stuff because I just don't want to talk too much about jobs and stuff online, to be honest. Um, but I just wasn't happy, basically, at the end of the day. And I hesitated to make this decision a lot because my last period of unemployment without anything in line was bad. But I'm feeling like good about it. I am just choosing to be optimistic about it. So I don't really have any other option, to be honest. Um, and we're just gonna see, but I don't know. I just feel like I have to live my life for me. You only get one life. And I'm feeling like so many changes, so many new things. My life is really like unsteady in a lot of ways. Now I'm going to cream contour. Nope. Cream Bronze with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Light Medium. This also I've been really loving, like, a lot. This year? Um, but anyway, anyway. And I haven't been talking about the brushes that I've been using, have I? No, I haven't. Okay. So, we're just gonna try to get our thoughts together. So, yeah, a lot of new changes which for me, I struggle with change a lot. Like I always like things to stay the same, to be honest. Like once I like, like once I feel comfortable, I'm not the type of person who's like, okay, now I feel, okay, my camera overheated, so I'm back from a break. Okay, for a cream blush, I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks <clears throat> Yummy Skin Cream Blush in the shade Prima Donna, which is this bright pink. Part of me was like, maybe I'll go for like a more subdued blush, but no. Never. Ever, ever, ever. If I could have one, one of my dream PR things would be to have every shade of this blush formula because it's so beautiful. And I love this blush so much. Um, but what was I even saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to, I've gone through a lot of changes in my life, I believe, is what I was saying, but... Normally, I'm the type of person who, once I'm, like, comfy, I'm, like, comfy. Like, I'm not, like, scared of feeling comfortable. I'm not, like, feel like I always need, like, something changing or my life or whatever. So change is, like, hard. Like, I like things the way I like them, um, for me at least. But I think it's, like, also good, a good exercise for me to, like, embrace change and see the way that, like, change can be positive and... I'm kind of just going with it, like, I don't know, I just kind of have no choice but to, but to, and I feel like I'm figuring a lot of stuff out about myself, I'm figuring a lot of stuff out about what I really, like, want my life to look like, like, what I want to do with my life, it's like a whole fucking thing, I'm going through, like, a real 26-year-old, I don't know, self-discovery kind of journey, but at least I'm in, like, the more positive part of it for a while, the journey felt... Like, I didn't want to be on the fucking journey anymore, but I'm feeling happy. Honestly, I'm feeling happier than I have in a while. It's a lot of scary things as well, um, but also good things. So if I suddenly don't upload for another month, that's why. It's because I'm in Panama. But yeah, that's the tea.
that's if you've been wondering what's been going on with me that's it um so that was also the other reason that i wasn't uploading as much as that when i was finally into a good place i was busy and i also was seeing someone new so that was taking up a lot of my time i'm gonna set my face with the maybelline um loose fit me loose finishing powder um i desperately need to get a new one of these in a real way. Well, I'm gonna set the center of my face with this. And I'm going to brush that off with some hourglass powder. <clears throat> and I'm gonna set my face with the Sephora Micro Finishing, nope, Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. By the way, I used the shade Porcelain. And I'm going to go over my face with the hourglass powder and Ethereal Light one more time. For bronzer, I'm going to use the NYX California Beeman Bronzer in Free Spirit because I'm trying to pan it and I'm doing a pretty good job, if I do say so myself, although it has taken me a long time. And then I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I do like this one. I haven't been using it for that long. Um, this, I don't know... I don't know how it compares to the Sport Fix Lasting Hold Fixing Spray, just in the sense of like they feel like low-key the same product. They're both kind of like mattifying setting sprays from the drugstore. I feel like they genuinely do make my makeup last longer. They're affordable-ish. Well, I mean, they're at least from the drugstore. So if you were wondering, I, that's what I've been using. For highlight, I don't know what is possessing me about this, but I kind of want to go for something like super icy, and I want to use my Becca Opal Highlight. I don't know why, but I could do pink. I just feel like because it's going to be so heavy with the pink on the eyes and the cheeks, I kind of want to like break it up somehow. I don't know. I've just been feeling this is just what popped into my mind and this is what I'm going to do. So I haven't used this in so long. I use this, although I do use this if I use highlighters that are slightly too dark for me to highlight my brow bone. <laughs> or no, not my brow bone, my cupid's bow. And for blush, I'm going to use another old product. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle, Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Sangria Sunrise and Mimosa Sunset. I'm going to use the pink side. <gasps> you guys, I just hit pan. I just hit pan. I don't know if you can see. It's by the Fenty Beauty logo. Wow. See, I be hitting pan on my products. Like, I use my shit. Anyway, okay, so I think for um, length purposes, I'm just going to quickly do my lower lash line off camera and then come back and finish up. Okay, so I did my lower lash line. I literally just did exactly the same thing that I did on my top lid. Um, and now I'm going to actually take the shade. Well, actually, first let me do my inner corner. I'm going to take the shade uh, Chintz from the New Romantics palette. I'm gonna spray that so it sticks and just plop her on in there. And now I'm going to take the shade Fire Me Up from Shine by Estee. This is a single, I believe, yeah, it's one of their dynamic duos that I think is discontinued. Oops. And I'm going to tap this over the top of the shade Valentine that's in my outer corners, or like the outer part of my lid. And then I'm going to take the shade um, Emboss from Cleona which is like a salmon shade, and I'm going to tap this over the top. Oops, this is making it less pink. It's really bringing out the green, actually, in that shade, which is fun, but maybe not exactly what I wanted. Um, and now I'm going to take the shade, if I can grab it, Flare Star from Terra Moons, which is super flaky, and tap this over the front part of my eye. I think, honestly, I have to do pink brows. Like, I think for this look, I have to do pink brows. So I'm going to take the same Claret shade, I think, from the um, Beauty Bay palette, just the one that I used in my crease. 
and I'm going to run this through my brows. And then I'm going to run some brow gel through my brows. This is the Essence Thick and Wow Fixing Brow Mascara, which is not my favorite, but sometimes I feel like it just like re like shapes my individual hairs when I use like colored powder through my brows. I know it's not like pink, but I don't hate the way it looks, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. So that's basically where I'm going to leave this look for now. I'm going to throw on some freckles, um, put lashes on and such, and maybe do some lighter. I'm not sure yet, and then I will be back to show you the finished look. Okay, this is the finished look. I love it. I did some graphic liner with the Gavisi Split Cake Retro Liners in UV Neons and UV Pastels. I used the red and the pink. And then on my lips, I use the same thing I use in my waterline, which is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Lip Liner in the shade Fiery. And the I use also black of my eyeliner in the center of my lips. And then I use the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Nudes um, in the shade Nude 3. And then I used the Cover Girl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss in the shade Let's Get Physical. And I put some gems on as well. I really, really love this look. It was so fun to be creative and talk to you guys about some stuff that I haven't talked about um, really at length. And yeah, I just, I really have been like in my creative era and I'm like really looking forward to seeing where the next year takes me. So thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you in my next video.